All right, this is Mike A, perform first aid for an open head wound in a seaburn environment. You're going to treat a casualty with an open head wound. The first injury we're going to go over is the wound to the forehead or back of the head. So the first step, the cash, the greater, not the greater, the candidate is going to check the casualty's level of consciousness by asking, "What is your name? Where are you? And what is today's date?" What is your name? Where are you? What is today's date? The greater then states, the casualty replies appropriately. Step two, position the casualty. He's going to have the casualty sit up. And then he's going to notionally slash verbalize turning the head to the opposite side of the wound to prevent bleeding into the mouth. Turning head opposite side of the wound. Third step, he's going to then expose the wound by removing the casualty's helmet, if necessary, but retaining all mop garments. Do not attempt to clean the wound, remove a protruding object, or apply a pressure dressing. Do not put unnecessary pressure on the wound or attempt to push any brain matter back into the head of the skull. Do not touch white sterile side of dressing or allow it to come in contact with any surface other than the wound. Step four, get your uh, dressing out of the IFAC. Step five, apply the pressure dressing white side down directly over the wound with tails extending towards sides of the head. Wrap tails one at a time around the head in opposite direction, making sure tails cover dressing, but not eyes or ears. Then tie the tails at the side of the head using a non-slip knot. The non-slip knot is going to be a square knot. Once you've done that, you're going to check your work, ensuring that the ear holes and any plastic on the ProMass is not covered by the bandage. And then you're going to verbalize, check casualty for life-threatening conditions, check for other injuries, treat for shock, and seek medical aid. Checking for further injuries, watching for life-threatening conditions, treating for shock, seeking medic. And that is it for the first injury. All right, this is the next injury that could be tested out on test day. It is apply casualty dressing to a wound on top of the head. So you're going to uh, do steps one through four just like the first one, but now we're going to go on to directly to the injury. So the first portion is going to apply the dressing white side down directly over the wound. You're going to wrap the first tail under the chin and bring in front of the ear over the dressing and above and in front of the other ear. Note, Ensure tails are wide and close to the front of the chin to avoid choking the casualty. Step three, wrap the second tail under the chin in the opposite direction up the side of the head to meet the first tail. You're going to then cross the tails. Wrap one tail in front of the forehead above the eyebrows to a point just above and in front of the opposite ear. Wrap the second tail above the ear, low over back ahead and above opposite ear to meet the other tail. And then step seven, tie the tails using a non-slip knot, which again is the square knot. And check your work, make sure it does not cover any ear holes or over any plastic, and then move on to the final step. That's it. Again. All right, now we're moving on to the third and final injury you could be tested out on test day. Again, you're going to start with the first four steps. Now we're going to move on to the injury. So this one is going to be apply the casualty dressing to a wound on the side of the head or cheek. For testing purposes, we're just going to do it on the side of the head. So the first portion, apply dressing white side down directly over the wound with the tails extending up and down. Second step, wrap the top tail over the head, down in front of the ear, under the chin, up and over, the dressing to a point just above the ear. You're going to then wrap the other tail in the opposite direction to meet the first tail.
You're going to then cross the tails and complete the procedure as follows. Wrap the four, first tail across the forehead above the eyebrows to a point above and in front of the opposite ear. Then you're going to wrap the second tail above the ear, low over back of the head and above the opposite ear to meet the first tail. And then tie the tails using a non-slip knot. Again, to tie the knot, we're using a, a square knot. And then finally, check your work, ensure that all ears are not covered and that any uh, front plastic portion of the probe mask has not been covered by the bandage. And then move on to your final step.